let's just sew whatever. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I don't know why I'm putting my hands like that. Um, I'm going to be talking about my name plates. Um, you guys asked me this in my um, question video where I was like, ask me your questions and I'll make a video and answer them. And um, I never made that video. I will, I promise. Not today though. So um, I first ordered my name plates maybe three years ago now. Yeah, probably close to three years ago now. And I remember I was just getting to the point where I was making a profit off of my handbags. And I was like, you know what? I've seen people with nameplates. I saw something in the Swoon Patterns group. And I was like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. It's going to be really cool. Um, so I emailed the guy, Bruce. And all of his info I will flash on the screen now. hopefully, if I edit it correctly, uh, <laughs> if I didn't already. And uh, I just spoke with him through Alibaba. It's an app you can download on your phone, not sponsored. And um, I was like, I would like metal nameplates. Can you help me? Yes, I can. What would you like? And I was like, I mean, just a square with this, with this font. And he had a, a proof within 15 minutes to an hour. And I think I ordered within that week. Um, I'm not sure if I paid via PayPal or if it was through Alibaba's credit card system. Um, I will say a lot of people I recommended to him have had zero issues. Some people have, so I'm going to talk about those in a little bit. Um, but first I'm going to talk about size. Um, there's been so many awesome designs that I've seen from people and mine are super duper lame. They're just little tiny square with my brand name on it, but I really like the size. It's very sleek. Um, the corners are pretty rounded, so it's not too pointy, so that's nice. But I will say they feel fairly thin compared to the name plates that I sell, which are not through this supplier. Um, so the first one I ordered was an inch and a half, and I was like, that's plenty big. No, an inch and a half wide is tiny. If you're making handbags, this is tiny, you guys. Um, this is the perfect size if you're going to add it to a wallet or um, a small accessory, um, a makeup bag, and I'll show you guys how I install it, which is why I have this sitting here. Um, so I completely ran out of the 500 I had ordered, which is insane to think about. Maybe it was 300 or 200, but he has a very low minimum order quantity, so that's very nice. And I think altogether I paid maybe $300, and it was... Um, X amount for the mold fee, X amount for the color, um, and as far as I know, the colors he has are black nickel, nickel, antique gold or brass, and maybe rose gold, um, but he does not carry the anodized metal or I would have reordered my name plates with him. Um, so this is the 2.25 2 inch is how big this one is. And I will say that this size is perfect. I don't know if I would go any larger, but if you have um, a larger logo, I'd say 2.25 to 2.5 inches is as big as you're going to want to go. Otherwise, it gets to be a little too ostentatious. But hey, if that's your business, who am I to judge you? Um, the only issue that I've run into is that some of them have um, little scratch marks or like this one here, you can see... Um, it's got like a milky substance on it, uh, and all I do is I, I lick my finger and I'll wipe it off. <laughs> didn't didn't want to say what I was thinking. Um, and then it's fine. But one issue I've run into is that sometimes they don't open, so you've wasted money there, um, but it doesn't always happen. What do you have to say, Ben? Well, come here. Or don't, it's fine. Um, but sometimes they come flat, they come wrapped in um, this little tissue paper, so you just unwrap it like a, a little bonbon. You can toss that and 
uh, the first time I ordered, all of my prongs were unfolded, which was cool. Um, but you just can lift up and fold your prongs. And they're pretty pliable. And um, they've got like a little screw back there. Um, and he is very helpful with your artwork. If you have a certain design that you have in mind, he'll say, no, that won't work. Yes, it will. Um, so you just unfold it till it's about even. And then something that I did not know the first time I ordered, and I'm honestly kind of mad, is that he did not include washers. I didn't realize I needed washers until I think I saw um, like a photo sample that he had and I was like, so how do I get washers? And he's like, oh yeah, they're, they're free. You just gotta let me know. And I was like, why didn't you include them with my first order? I had so many people complain that they're, their tags fell out and I'm like, that's a waste of $300 if you think about it. So please make sure you say, include those washers, please. <laughs> like I was so mad, you have no idea. Um, so I think I've covered almost everything. So let's get into installation. All right, so hopefully this angle will work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install my little tiny guy for accessories and wanna make sure that you have your washer as well and a decent angle might also be beneficial. Oh my gosh, Connor. That's my other cat. It's fine. Um, so I like to have a, a six inch ruler. It doesn't have to be that. It could be bigger, it could be smaller. And what is helpful is to just kind of fold your item in half, make a slight crease, nothing too permanent so that you know where your center is. And then I'll take um, my Tandy Leather marking pencil. You could use a ballpoint pen. Let's be real, I use a ballpoint pen 98% of the time. Uh, so I'm just gonna find the center on the three inch of this ruler and kind of eyeball where I want it to go. And right now it's about an inch above the corner. So I'll just bump it up slightly. Um, and then make sure that your prongs are folded where you need them. And then I just kind of eyeball the center. Well, not eyeball because I have a ruler. Um, but center it over that with your prongs. Make some little lines. And then I use my seam ripper. I'll try to show you guys. Um, you can see those lines there. I'll use my seam ripper to make little tiny slits and you want to make sure that they are as parallel and even as possible. Otherwise your nameplate's going to be a little crooked. Um, you could, if you are um, worried about your fabric fraying, you could add some fray check or you can add a little bit of glue and just slide your nameplate in. Ooh, ah. And then you want to make sure that you grab your washer, kind of center the washer over the back. And then you can fold it in or out. Um, I usually fold out, um, but it's, it's really personal preference. I find if you fold out, it doesn't pull up on the corners, but if you fold in, it tends to pull up on the corners because of where um, the washers are located. So personal preference. Uh, you can also add a little scrap of interfacing behind it if you want to reinforce it some more. Um, but yeah, there is the nameplate added. Um, and I can't think of any other information about these nameplates that I'd like to add. I will say that I don't love the quality of them in comparison, again, to the nameplates I sell. Um, they're not hollow, but you can see the back there. They do try to be skimpy on the metal. That's all I'm gonna say, because you can see that it's stamped in there. Um, so I, I would say that's my only complaint, and I'm sure that you could message him and say, you know, I'd like a little bit thicker of a metal, and it would be an upcharge, but it's still a really cool thing to add to your handmade bags. And then before I go, not to uh, toot my own horn, but I did design 
these name plates that say handcrafted. Um, they have a beveled edge, which is really cool. The corners are nice and rounded. And hopefully you can see here how thick that metal is in comparison. So, um, um, so it's like a centimeter thick or so. So it's, it's nice and thick. It adds high quality. These are still easy to bend. Um, and the width is 2.25. What a nice width. It's like I knew that before I went into it. <laughs> I crack myself up. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I have not been in contact with Bruce this year. I did contact him last year when I wanted to reorder my nameplates and all my hardware finishes, uh, but he does not offer them. So that was a big bummer. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.